What's going on YouTube peeps? This is Black Atlas aka Kenny and this is another episode of Black Atlas Goings On. So this one's gonna be actually the next few are gonna be uh, a little bit different than any of the other videos that are on the channel. Um, uh, in short detail I got a new uh, cooker uh, air fryer uh, slash convection oven um, also I am going to go through my cameras and see what's going on with my cameras and see which ones has the best quality um, and, then, and then also it comes with a little cookbook um, which is what this series is going to be about so uh, right now uh, we are going to go through uh, one of the recipes that are on here which is going to be the rustic bread I will go into the ingredients and details in a little bit um, um, so that is the introduction of what's going on and also a uh, introduction of the Emerald French Door Air Fryer 360 and let's go ahead and get to making some bread what's going on here we go back at the next set of steps uh, we are going to start to go through this recipe right now for this rustic bread and like I said we are going to go through this word for word step by step and then what we'll do is at the very end I will let y'all know how I like the taste how I think it is and then what I think should be added um, so the ingredients for the rustic bread for the emerald french door air fryer 360 is going to be four cups of all-purpose flour plus some more for shaping one table i'm sorry one half tablespoon of salt two teaspoons of active dry yeast one tablespoon of sugar and one and three quarter cups of warm water first step is in a large bowl that fits in the appliance combine the flour salt yeast sugar and whisk well so right here we have our four cups of flour we have our tablespoon of salt. We have our yeast. And that is going to be two teaspoons of dry active yeast. and the sugar which is one tablespoon of sugar and then it says whisk well step two add the water and mix until fully absorbed the dough will be sticky so in this case, I am going to use gloves. Because that is. So I'm going to go ahead now and mix it with my hands. And they are right, this dough is getting sticky. Now I'm just going to put it in a ball because now we are going to go ahead and get it proofed.
Okay, here we go on to the next step. Next step for the rustic bread, it says that we are going to take the wire rack and slide it into shelf position six. Okay, wire rack into shelf position six. Then we are going to cover the bowl with plastic and place the bowl on the wire rack. Now, previous to this step, I did go ahead and cover it with plastic. I just need to get it stretched out and completely hopefully get all the air out and then right there. That's the last of it. And slide this in on top of the wire rack. Ooh, this barely fits in there. Then we are going to select the proof setting. No. We are going to go over to proof. And it says, set the cooking temperature to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 Celsius, which is what it is set at right now. And the cooking time to one hour. And we are going to, we press the little clock and then we are, what is going on here? That's a little clock. Uh, I guess I took too long. And then we are going to move it up to one hour. And then we are going to hit the start button. As you can see, it has about doubled in size. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and get it out of the plastic wrap. And we are going to throw a little bit of flour down on the baking sheet so it doesn't stick to the baking sheet. And then step six word for word oh I'm sorry step five word for word says remove the dough from the bowl and place it on a baking pan slide the baking pan into shelf position six which is the same shelf position where the rack is right now and then it says select the proof setting again Set the cooking temperature to 95 degrees, which is what it is already set at. And the cooking time is going to drop a half an hour. So it is going to be 30 minutes instead of 60 minutes this time. So let's go ahead and do that. This time. So let me go ahead and get these gloves taken off. And it is about right in the center of the pan. Put it. Open it up, take the rack out, and then right where that rack was, we are going to put that baking pan in, hit the start button, and it's already on proof, uh, it's already set for 95 degrees, and then what we need to do is we need to change the time, so we are going to go ahead down to 30 minutes. And then we are going to hit the start button. And I will see you all in about 30 minutes. Okay. Here we go with the next step. Next step is number seven. When the dough has doubled in size, remove it and the baking pan from the appliance. And then we're going to slide the wire rack 
into shelf position four five. So we are going to go ahead and remove the baking pan because as you can see it has about doubled in size. And then we are going to take the wire rack and we are going to put the wire rack into shelf position four or five. And all of the shelf positions are marked on the door so you can go down and you can see shelf position four right there. And then what we are going to do is go to the next step and it says we are going to dock the bread which means slice three one quarter inch deep slits into the top of the bread and this is where we're going to be shaping it as well there we go small knife So that is done. And so the next step says that we are going to dock the bread, which we just did, and then we're going to select the pastry setting. And then once we select the pastry setting, we're going to set the temperature to 375, which is what it is at. And we are going to set the time for 45 minutes also, which is what it is at. Then we are going to place the dough on the wire rack and bake until it is golden. And that's what we are going to get this. So we have selected the pastry setting, we have set the cooking temperature to 375 and the cooking time to 45 minutes. Uh, and now that's in for the next 45 minutes and we will see how it turns out. See you then. What's going on? Here we go at the last step. The timer just went off. It's been that 45 minutes. Here we go. And see, this is exactly what I was worried about. The bottom falling through, and now it fell through, and now it's connected on the bottom. So, we'll see how it turns out. I gotta let it cool down, and then we'll go from there. Here we go, the final steps. It's got a nice golden brown color on there. Let's go ahead and cut into it. Ooh. Oh, it's got that nice crusty outside. delicious like there's nothing like fresh homemade warm bread all right well thank you all for watching uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already uh, like share and comment and I will catch you on the flip side